is Ralph here, True Power Trumpet Fitness, and welcome to Magnificent Monday. And it is a beauty. Oh, what a beautiful day, man. It's going to be up into the 80s. I already threw 100 throws today. Great workout in the morning. Uh, played a little bit. Did a lesson or two. Uh, did some business. But, um, yeah, you saw the thumbnail. The frenul frenulum. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right. The frenulum. So anyway, we'll talk about it and uh, yeah, that's that. Anyway, not a mark anyway. <laughs> Double C's, make Maynard blush. Little Arbin second study. Jumping up octave, octave. There is no restriction whatsoever. Octave to octave to octave. Change the timbre. All done with the tongue. The greatest system ever devised. Anyway, the frenulum. Ah, that. Now, what made me think of this is I took my daughter to the uh, dentist the other day. Okay? And every time I go into the dentist, there is these infants just yelping. I mean, just screaming at the top of their lungs, right? So anyway... The dentist told me, we have had this ongoing relationship about the tongue. What happens with infants? Very often, uh, their tongue, and I don't know the ins and outs of it, their tongue gets in the way of their breathing when they sleep. It goes back in the, in the mouth, I don't know, okay? But something about the nasal passages, nasal passages that interrupts their sleeping. And these children are uh, losing oxygen in the brain and all this sort of stuff. I guess a very, very common thing. So what the, what's the big thing to do? Have that frenulum snipped. There are very, very few people that do it. My dentist happens to be certified in snipping frenulums. <laughs> it's a big, booming business with him. Okay, now I, when he was telling me about this, you know, all these infants just yelping. He told me what was it, and I told him what's going on with the trumpet and all this sort of stuff, and how the tongue is so important, and everything. He was very, very interested. He bought my book actually, and he uh, actually talked about it at a dental convention. Okay, now <clears throat> with that said, what does that mean to us? Okay, Maynard had his frenulum snipped. If you remember, all you Maynard thinks you know this. There's nothing new. There was a period of time, and I don't know what year it was, where he uh, he was a physical mess. And he went over to India to dry out. Drugs, alcohol, the whole nine yards. And he got heavily into yoga, meditation, and the whole nine yards. Okay? And one of the things that they do is, and I'm not that familiar with this sect of yoga, is to have the tongue go recede back into the throat when they meditate. And to do that, many people have to snip their frenulum. 
Okay. Now you have seen that iconic picture of Jerry and Maynard, two of the greatest chop people who ever lived. And Maynard's tongue looks like a cow tongue. I've did, done a video of that. Way the heck down to his chin. He couldn't do that until he got his frenulum snipped. Okay. Now, here's the deal. He was playing great before he dried out. Okay, and much of the what you know, much of it had to do with him getting himself physically and mentally healthy over in India. But something definitely, definitely clicked in about all of a sudden his tongue is much thicker in his mouth. Then we made no bones about it. We talked to him, we got it. I heard him say it. His tongue is forward and through the teeth when he plays. Okay? So we know he does that. Okay? So anyway. Now, I was very, very intrigued, and I told Jerry about this, and he was, oh, Ralph, how cool would that be? Can you get it snipped? I said, all right, uh, you know, okay, I'll get it snipped. And I told you, the dentist was very, very intrigued with the whole thing. So when I called him up and said, I would like to get it snipped, great. So he could write this up in all the journals and how it affects my trumpet playing. And Jerry's just drooling, thinking this would be great, right? But all of a sudden, the guy, the dentist says, okay, now I'm going to give you the name of this uh, speech pathologist. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, you get that snipped, you, you have to, it takes you about six months, you, you have to learn to speak all over again. He said, what? I said, oh, yeah. You're not going to have any, the, your control, the tongue of, control of your tongue is going to be completely lost. I said, forget it. <laughs> I called Jerry. I said, he said, oh, man, come on. Wait, what's the little speech? <laughs> he was bugging me because he wanted me to do this, right? I said, Jerry, I've got all the double C's I need. I'm not doing it. All right. <laughs> so I got my dentist in. Jerry bugged him, annoyed at me because I wouldn't get my frenulum snipped. But the whole point is, guys, funny story. But Maynard, man, if we don't know that the tongue is, is I mean, guys, that's it. That's it. And you can do long tones to your blown face. And you can do this, that, and the other thing until you until the cows come home. But everybody knows, literally thousands, hundreds of millions of trumpet players that can't blow their nose using all these different techniques. This, anybody, I've had 3,000 students over the course of my career and counting. Every single one of them improved. Some of them were 10-year-old kids. They didn't care. They didn't know from double high Cs. They didn't know. But every single one of them had great tone, power, range, and endurance. Anybody that wants to take it to the nth level, take it higher than me, higher than Jerry, it's there to do it. It is there to do it. It is done with the tongue. Now, will the frenul snipping your frenulum help? It might. We never did it. <laughs> we never did it. So, you know. If you go through all that in six months of speech work and everything and it doesn't help, well, don't come crying to me because I'm, I'm not telling you to do it. I just said it was a very, very interesting story that we talked with Jerry and my dentist ad nauseum and they both wanted me to do it. You know, I can only be a, take guinea pig so far, right? I'm a lab rat, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I'm Italian, so guinea, you know, some say I'm a bit of a pig, so whatever. But anyway, that's that. So, frenulum notwithstanding, guys, it's the tongue. It's the tongue. And if you're not playing double C's, your tongue isn't thick enough and firm enough against the, the bottom lip. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Anyway, so that's that. So we're back Monday. We're back to it, baby. Life is good. Guys, the mouth mouthpieces are selling like crazy. People are coming to my website. It will be up on the website sometime this week. The whole advertisement for the uh, www.tpwr.org. The whole advertisement for the mouthpieces will be up. From now on, guys, this is the only place that you can get a Callet mouthpiece. 
So we've got Books of the Month. We've got Double C Manifesto. We've got True Power to the Max, which Jerry called the greatest books ever written on trumpet. They should be in every music library. They're all here. Lessons. This is where you're getting Cowan to the max. Mouthpieces. You got it. Anyway, that's it. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.